What is the Nothing Phone? Let's take a closer look. So what the hell is Nothing? Well, Nothing is a new tech firm started by entrepreneur Carl Pei. Now, Pei was one of the founders of OnePlus, a company that was known for doing decent handsets at generally more affordable prices that undercut its main rivals like Apple and Samsung. And it was exactly that philosophy that took OnePlus from being quite a small niche company with a handful of dedicated followers in its community to being a much larger global operation that genuinely offered some excellent competition to the flag flagship elites. Now, Pei left OnePlus back in 2020 in order to start up Nothing, his new company. And while I'm not exactly sold on the company name, I do think that his philosophy could make it a quite exciting company to watch. But what's exciting about the phone itself? Its design is where it really stands out. The back has been given this clear cover so you can see right into the internals of the phone. So you can see where the different pieces connect. You can even see the exposed screw heads underneath. And the only branding is this subtle nothing logo hidden away in the corner but it gets better. Some of these pieces beneath this clear cover are actually LEDs that light up when you get incoming notifications or when you're shooting video. Now, nothing calls this a glyph, and it's something that I've definitely not seen on other phones before, so it's certainly unique to the Nothing phone. Sure, it's a bit of a gimmick, but hey, gimmicks can be fun, and at least it stands out amongst the competition. On the back, you'll also find a dual camera setup with a standard and a super wide view, while the phone itself is wrapped in an aluminium frame, which gives it quite a satisfying feel when you hold it. The 6.55 inch OLED display is bright, sharp and vibrant, while the Qualcomm Snapdragon 778G Plus processor should be more than powerful enough for all of your everyday tasks, while also giving you access to that super fast 5G network. It is an Android phone at its heart, running the latest Android 12 software, over which nothing has slapped its own skin. Now that skin is very neat and clutter-free, and crucially, does not preload it with any additional apps, so it really feels like an easy-to-use, stripped-back phone. Then there are features like in-screen fingerprint scanning, 120Hz refresh rates, IP58 waterproofing, and fast charging, all of which is a really nice setup of features. So how much will this cost? Well, one of the most exciting things about this phone is actually its price. It'll cost £399 when it goes on sale in the UK, which very much puts it in the lower mid-range bracket. That's something of a surprise when I first heard it. The specs generally seem pretty solid, and given the particular focus on design here, I did expect a price of at least 100 or so more. It's going on sale on the 12th of July, which means it's probably already on sale by the time you're watching this video. It's launching first in the UK and wider Europe, and at the time I wrote this script, it isn't going to be on sale in the US. A US launch is on the cards though, but it's likely only going to happen once Nothing finds a network partner who can support the 5G bands. So is this phone the only product we've seen from Nothing? Well, the Phone 1 is probably the most high profile and certainly the most exciting product that the phone has done, but it actually launched last year with a set of wireless earbuds. And you can certainly tell that they have come from the same design team with these transparent elements that show the insides of the devices. So when I put them side by side, there is a lovely family resemblance. Like the phone, the buds were launched with generally decent performance and quite an affordable price tag, which did make them a good option to consider if you didn't fancy splashing your cash on Apple's earbuds. If you already have the Nothing Buds and you love the unusual look, then you will probably enjoy the phone as well. So should you actually buy the Nothing phone? There's always going to be a lot of fanfare and PR spin and marketing nonsense anytime a new company like this launches. And certainly some of Nothing's rhetoric around more soul, brave simplicity, or the apparent new way to communicate is a little bit pretentious. If you put all of that nonsense aside, and the phone itself actually seems pretty good for the price. It's got a solid set of specs, it's got a lovely stripped back neat interface, and while that funky design might not be to everyone's tastes, certainly does stand out from the crowd. Personally, I think it's pretty cool. Certainly makes a nice change from the usual grey rectangles you get at this price point. But it is that affordable price tag that makes this phone so appealing. 
The Phone One isn't trying to compete with the likes of the iPhone 13 Pro or the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra, but instead is trying to offer a decent all-round everyday experience at a price that makes it much more approachable, especially to those of us who are really trying to keep an eye on our spending right now. But of course it is early days with the phone and I do have the full review coming soon in which I'm gonna be properly testing out exactly how powerful it is and crucially how things like the camera perform up against phones of a similar price. So if you're there with your money ready to click that buy button, I do recommend just holding off until you've read our final verdict. But in the meantime, you can let us know what you think of Nothing's new phone in the comments below and make sure to keep it CNET for a lot more.